Hey everyone, good morning, happy Friday. This is Atlanta & Company, I'm Christine Pilara. So happy to be with you. If you've been watching all week long, I'm sorry, I know I keep talking about it, but I miss my mom so, so much and I'm so excited. We're heading to Florida next week uh, to see her. The countdown is on, but I had to giggle and I know that my girl, Kara Kinnear, will appreciate this story. So, you know, you're getting prepared. So I put out all like medicine, vitamins, you know, take on the trip. And this morning I look on the counter and next to it all is this, a bottle of Hawaiian Tropic. God, that smell is good. Hawaiian Tropic, six no less. So <laughs> Kara Kinnear, you know the only person that wears uh, Hawaiian Tropic six and that is, God love him, my husband Jim. Now yes, Jim's dad is <laughs> Cherokee Indian on that side. Jim has beautiful skin. He gets a deep dark tan. In fact, look, I've got this picture of our honeymoon right here. Who's tan in this picture? Not me, and I was eight days into my honeymoon. But the fact that he has it like hidden in the medicine cabinet. I'm like, don't worry, Jim. We're not gonna take your SPF of six. Add on about 44. <laughs> and that's where this rest of this family. I mean, is that not hysterical? But I do say, God, it brings back memories. I'm putting some on right now, Kara. Oh my God, remember? <laughs> oh. It's good stuff. It I is do. Good stuff. I do remember oh. Hawaiian Tropic, and I have to say, Jim just has his priorities in a certain place, and he <laughs> wants that deep, dark, beautiful tan. Jim Newton. Um, I mean to tell I, I should have bought stock in Hawaiian Tropic in in my twenties and late teens because I definitely Me used too. enough of it. Now my mother will tell a story that when her and her sisters would put Crisco on themselves and like aluminum foil oh. and lay out on their roof in Pennsylvania. I mm -hmm. think I remember. That's a true story. And about um, that. yeah. Mm -mm. Well, you know, no. it just reminds me of that scene and there's something about Mary. I'm not sure if that's a great idea, <laughs> but um, if you must, use yes. SPF 6. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm so I excited mean, for you to get on your trip and see your mom. Looking. I know you're so looking forward to it. Um, let's start this day off, though, with some It's All Good Stories first. And we're going to start with, I think there have been who knows how many, but we know our one of our own, our glorious producer Michelle's wedding was postponed due to the pandemic. And lots of plans yeah. have been postponed, um, lots yeah. of weddings. Get and there was a county in Pennsylvania that thought, you know what, we're going to do something because we want to, and we feel it's the right thing to do. So a lot of women owned business vendors, wedding vendors decided to throw a contest. So they did. They said, write a 500 word essay about how coronavirus has impacted you and your plans for your wedding and also how you met. And we will choose somebody to give them a completely free wedding. So that's what they did. They chose this couple you're looking at right here. Um, they were high school sweethearts. They were very, uh, just, just so, I, I was going to say sweet again, but that's really the perfect word to describe them. Uh, in an interview, they said, you know, we had a, just a few friends and family, but it was a perfect day and everyone that matters is here and supporting us and we couldn't be happier. So congratulations to Mr. Yay. and Mrs. Taylor, I believe. Um, and mazel tov, happy wedding. So exciting. Yes, happy and for wedding. for free, can't beat that. Mm -hmm. No, I know. Yeah, exactly. That was so incredible that they did that. So generous. By the way, we still can't wait yeah. for Michelle's wedding in August, end of August. So, I know. so excited. I know. We can't yeah. wait. We can't wait. Um, okay, let's get on to the next one because this one is so impressive. We highlight young children on It's All Good all the time and older children and all sorts of walks of life. But um, <laughs> the kids are making a difference. It gives me a hope for the future. And Lydia is no different. So Lydia is 12, but two years ago she saw on the news um, all of the uh, stories about um, deaths of children and infants in cars uh, from overheating. So she thought... This oh, right. made me so emotional because there's something we can do about it. At 10 years old, she was like, I'm going to fix this. Um, her mother was a scientist and said she was a little nervous when she took this on, but she thought if somebody can do it, she can do it. So Lydia has done just that. She created a car seat. What it is is it's a pad that you put in a car seat, and it detects uh, pressure over five pounds, and when the car gets too hot, it sets off an alarm. It could be transported <gasps> from car seat to car this seat, car brilliant. to car, obviously. Um 
I know it's it's really really impressive and she's been working on it for two years she entered it into a lot of contests to see um, if she would win and of course she did she won twenty thousand dollars at the latest contest she was in because she's hoping to get it to market this is something else she said she said yeah. not only do I want to fix this problem but I want to make it accessible for people so it needs to be in a certain price range so she believes she can sell these exactly. for fifty dollars Something else Lydia did is she enlisted yeah. her 10 year old sister and 14 year old brother because her 14 year old brother can code. So she needed him for that. And my favorite, oh my, my favorite is her 10 year old sister who she said is a peacemaker. And when they would run into problems, her 10 year old sister would bring them kind words and refreshments. And we all need a sister that keeps us going <laughs> with refreshments. So I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so she's gonna use that, um, use the 20 grand to hopefully get it to market and save lives at just 12 years old. Lydia, you're amazing. Yes. Pretty good. That is yeah. incredible. And you know, that's a problem. And unfortunately we hear about it every single summer. And it's, it's really incredible that at such a young age, uh, she really um, had the thought to really try and make a difference and, yeah. and impact these children's lives. It's, it's absolutely incredible. And she's right, we, we need to make it affordable for yeah. all parents and families. So I love that, Kara. Thank you love so you. much. I'm gonna come drop off some Hawaiian tropic, girl. Get your tan on in your backyard, <laughs> that pretty yard. Love you. God, it's gorgeous. Good. It's you. good stuff. <laughs> it is. It takes. If if you're not going to the beach, this just makes you feel like you're there, guys. So go ahead and buy SPF four mm. or six and have fun with it. All right. If you have a fun or interesting, it's all good story. <laughs> please share it with us. It's Facebook.com/slash ATL and Co. Or tweet us using the hashtag. It's all good. Indeed, it is.